OptiMed SmartScope M5 OT1 is a digital otoscopic camera that enables examining the inner ear canal and tympanic membrane and documenting patient data through digital images and video. First, let's go through the basic use and settings of the device. Power on and off the device using the left soft key. Attach the OT1 otoscopic optics module by pressing it firmly into place until you hear a click. Attach the speculum by twisting it into place. The OT1 optics module can be used with any widely available beta hiney or all spec speculum. An insufflation bulb is provided with the device in order to inspect eardrum movement. The bulb is attached to the vent located on the side of the optics module. Gently squeeze the bulb to create airflow in the ear canal. To detach the optics module, slide the release button. Image settings. Capture mode. Still or video capture mode is selected by pressing the left soft key. The icon on the top left corner of the screen indicates the selected mode. The capture mode can also be changed in the OT menu. To activate the menu, press and hold the right soft key. Illumination level. The camera has white LED lights as a source. The level of illumination is adjusted by pressing the right and left arrow keys. Altogether, there are 10 brightness levels with a default value of 5. The focus mode can be switched by short pressing the right soft key. The icon in the top right corner of the screen indicates the selection. M indicates manual focus, A autofocus, and Z zoom. There are four different zoom levels, one times resolution, two, four, and six times resolution. You can zoom in and out by pressing the up and down arrow keys. The icon on the left of the screen will indicate the zoom level. We will now look at the other menu options. Shoot mode. With autofocus, there are two shoot modes you can select from the OT menu, normal and auto. With the normal shoot mode, the shutter button operates like a standard digital camera with a step trigger. Pressing the button halfway down first focuses the image and the image is taken when the button is pressed all the way down. With the auto shoot mode, you will only need to press the shutter button halfway down and the camera will automatically focus and take the image. Focus window. The focus window feature helps the user target the correct focus area in the image. You can hide or enable the focus window in the OT menu. The focus window is activated by pressing the middle key until the icon F appears in the screen. Move the red focus box by using the arrow keys. Zoom cropping. When zoom cropping is enabled, the camera will save the zoomed area instead of the entire image area. By default, zoom cropping is turned off. When activated, the camera will save only the area that is visible on the camera screen when the user has zoomed in, rather than the whole image. Mark side. After each image, it is possible to mark which ear was examined on the image and the image file name. Marking side feature is available in the OT menu. Edit capture area. Due to slight differences between individual specula, the image area may not be completely visible or centered when using the zoom function. Press the middle key to activate the edit capture area feature. The letter C will appear on the right top corner of the screen. Use the arrow keys to move the image area to the center. Next, we will go through the steps of performing an otoscopic examination to ensure optimal image quality with a SmartScope OT1. To ensure the camera is stable for imaging, it is recommended that both the patient and examiner are seated. Select the preferred focus mode by pressing the right soft key. It is recommended to use autofocus. Turn the light on by pressing the shutter halfway down. The patient is asked to tilt their head away from the doctor. Gently pull the ear pina upwards 
and back and insert the speculum directly into the ear canal. If needed, activate the zoom by pressing the right soft key. Use the arrows up and down to adjust the zoom level. Capture the image by pressing the shutter button. In order to ensure good quality of examination, take multiple images. If multiple patients are examined during one session, create a new file folder for each patient by pressing and holding the middle key. If you want to preview images, go to the device menu and select preview images. The most recent image will be at the top of the file folder. Images are uploaded to computer by placing the camera in the cradle. Image transfer works through USB connection in a similar way to any other digital camera. Finally, let's go through some common mistakes with the help of some sample images. If the image is very light, decrease the brightness levels by using the left arrow key to get the optimal contrast. If the image is not in focus, take a few images with a different focus range or focus mode. If the image is focused on the wrong target, for example the ear canal, take a new image using the focus area or change focus mode. If there is no clear view of the tympanic membrane, there might be excessive earwax in the ear canal. Clear the patient's ears and take a new photo. As a general guideline, use autofocus when there is a clear view of the tympanic membrane and manual focus when the ear canal is narrow or the view is bad because of a hairy ear canal. When using a small speculum, the image area might not always be completely visible or centered. Use Edit Capture Area function to center the image. It is also recommended to use the zoom function and an increased level of illumination with a smaller speculum size. If you need support or have any questions or concerns regarding the usage of your smart scope, please contact our customer service at service at optimed.com. Thank you.